Hey guys, um, so I have been very attacked lately with anger and I've really not understood why and last night I had a really big spout of anger where it was like my body was on fire, I was fuming, I felt like, like burning inside and and so I went and I was like, what is this? And I saw this vision of a dragon and it was red and it was, it was kind of black, but like in between its scales were red. And I, he was just spewing fire and, and it was just like burning. Like I just saw, that's like the representation for me of anger. And I was just like, okay. And then I saw this little white speck and it was, I knew it was an angel, but I could see the difference. Like I saw so much detail on the dragon. I saw so, he was huge. And, and then this little speck, I saw no distinction, but I just knew it was an angel. And it came and it went up to the dragon and it slit its throat and it died. It was just dead. And I was just thinking like that's how I felt like the anger inside of me was so strong and yet this small piece of heaven just came and just slayed it and um so you know I took that very personal to the point where I was like okay it just shows that God is bigger than my anger you know clearly and today I was reading in Revelations 12 and 12 7 and it says um, was talking about this woman that uh, was with child and she gave birth and um, the dragon stood in front of the woman who was about to give birth so that she might uh, that he might devour her child in the moment it was born she gave birth to a son a male child who will rule all the nations with an iron scepter and her child was snatched up to God and to his throne um, the woman flees and it says, then there was a war in heaven. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon and the dragon and his angels fought back, but he was not strong enough and they lost their place in heaven. The great dragon was hurled down and the ancient, uh, and the ancient serpent called the devil or Satan who leads the whole world astray. He was hurled to the earth and his angels with him. And um, then it talks about in Revelations 12.10 that then I heard a loud voice in heaven. Um, and he says that now has come the salvation and the power and the kingdom of our God and the authority of his Christ. For the accuser of brothers who accuses them before our God day and night has been hurled down. down. They overcame him by the blood of the lamb and by the word of their testimony. They did not love their lives so much as to shrink, for, shrink from death. Therefore, rejoice you heavens and you who dwell in them. But woe to the earth and the sea because the devil has gone down to you. He is filled with fury because he knows that his time is short. When the dragon saw that he had been hurled to the earth, he pursued the woman. And then she was protected. Um, but then he, he goes after her again. But the rivers protect her and... It says, but the earth helped the woman by opening its mouth and swallowed the river that the dragon had swept out of his mouth. Then the dragon was enraged at the woman and went off to make war against the rest of her offspring. Those who obey God's commandments and hold to the testimony of Jesus. And the dragon stood on the shore of the sea. It just was so powerful to me. Like, he is filled with fury. <laughs> and the dragon was enraged, you know, and... He made, he's making war against her offspring, which is us, you know, like he is making war against us. And I really am in a battle and I feel like we all are in this battle, but there is this, this spirit of anger. I feel so powerfully right now. We can just turn on the news and watch, you know, how they're destroying our president with their words and their hatefulness and we see satan so at work in this society that it is sickening to see the hatred and the anger and it's truly coming to pass that the dragon this enraged furious dragon 
is here. But we cannot forget that even if we see so much detail of anger and hatred and terrible things going on in this world, that the smallest piece of heaven coming down to us will take it all away. We'll slay that dragon in our lives and in this world. So we have to be prayer in prayer for this. We have to be praying in the spirit that that this dragon would be demolished, that this dragon would be taken down, that this dragon of anger and hate and fury would be taken down because the smallest piece of heaven which lives inside of us, we can fight these battles in prayer. So I just encourage everyone to be praying right now for the anger in this world and the dragon that needs to be defeated, the voices that we hear, the hate, the pain, all of that that we hear constantly and day in and day out. We need to pray against it and pray against this dragon that's coming against the offspring of our Christ Jesus. So I pray this encouraged you today. Uh, live in joy today and not in anger. Choose today whom we will serve. Amen. Bye, guys.